This is a video I probably should have done uh, a while back. It's long overdue. So for those of you who have followed me, you're well aware that I've written two incredible books. And not only have I written two incredible books, I've appeared on numerous TV and radio programs and done so many more things. I was the one that wrote the argument that overturned the vaccine mandates and I prophesied the pandemic and vaccine before it ever came to be. So this is one of those books that I wrote and this is the first book. This was the book that actually overturned the vaccine mandates because I was able to not only prove that I knew the pandemic and the vaccine was coming before it ever happened, but I also was able to link <clears throat> the vaccine to the Bible. I was able to link all these things together. And unfortunately, because I was able to do this, you, I saw we saw all these false prophets come out of the woodwork. You saw ones like Timothy Dixon, Perry Stone, Jonathan Conartist, Tom Horn, and all these others that decided to steal the prophetic words that were given to me that were put in these copyrighted books. <laughs> and that is also why it's been so easy for me to take their social media channels down because they stole what's considered copyrighted materials. And YouTube has, you know, regulated laws regarding these matters. So it's been very easy for me. One of the first channels I took down was Skywatch TV. That is the channel of Tom Horn. I've also taken down Timothy Dixon's, uh, Robin Bullock's, one of his channels, and others, many others, because they stole prophetic words that were given to me which is a violation of copyright laws, but it's also a violation of Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 30, a direct violation of the Holy Word of God. But what we're going to learn here, <clears throat> many of these ones, and, and I'm going to specifically call out Robin Bullock in this video because he likes to name drop. He's one, he's a lot like Timothy Dixon. He likes to name drop so that he can garner himself more attention, more no notoriety, so to speak. <laughs> but the difference here, as you can see in the title of the video, quality versus quantity. The quality of the people that follow him and listen to him actually heed his advice are simple-minded individuals. They're not educated. They're not people of influence. He would wish, Timothy Dixon and these others, Robin Bullock, they would wish that they actually had influence, but they don't. They just have a bunch of simple-minded fools that follow them, blind sheep that follow them. But I'm going to remind you, <clears throat> this is a letter to me, and I marked out my address, but you can see Mr. Kenneth Spears. This was a letter, one of many letters, as a matter of fact, addressed to me from Dr. James Dobson. He now, I want you to pay close attention to this symbol. That is the World Health Organization symbol. <laughs> and look at what is titled in this letter head that is addressed to me. Now, you must understand, this was a recent letter, and I want to show you this because this is when I began this entire movement. This entire worldwide movement began February the 3rd of 2020 on my other channel. You see that same symbol from the World Health Organization. This was a worldwide movement. And you see that it involves the biggest names in ministry. Dr. James Dobson 
is even part of the movement and the fight that I began before the pandemic was even announced. The pandemic was not even announced until uh, March, March the 14th of 2020. I began this, actually even earlier than this, but this is a video I did on my other channel, February the 3rd of 2020. <laughs> There's your sim symbology. The same thing you'll see. Now, this is the part I want to show. <clears throat> really want to get down to. So, my book, one of my books, really in both of my books, you'll see it's about the mark of the beast and what the mark of the beast is. The Bluetooth symbol that's in your phone. Robin Bullock... More specifically, we're going to address him in this video. Robin Bullock likes to believe in his own pitiful mind that he has some type of influence. Now, you see that my influence is over the biggest names in ministry. But not only that, I, ha I truly have the ear of people uh, in power. And I've been able to prove that also. I actually go on real doctors channels dr artist dr michael brown I, I appear on channels but i will not appear on shows that worship donald trump understand that I do not appear on any person's platform that likes to worship donald trump because they have to know and they have to be professional also that's one of the requirements i, I will only appear on a person show if they're a professional not a clown I, I don't do clown shows i don't do like the the pathetic prophetic performance art show you will never see me go on a show with a gandalf staff you'll never see me get up there twirl around and speak in fake tongues you'll never see that that is not of god that is of satan so Robin Bullock, in his own pitiful mind, likes to believe he has some type of influence over world leaders. And he does not. It's just pitiful at best. So, <clears throat> and this goes to speak for the quality of people that follow me versus the quantity. We go back to that whole concept, what it talks about in the Bible, when it says there are going to be those that have the that follow the narrow path versus the wide path. That's why my numbers are low, because it's only uh, intellectual people that can keep up with my channel. Only people that are bright-minded and truly know the Word of God follow my channel. So, of course, it's going to be a select few and a small group of people that are following that narrow path that follow, that subscribe, and follow my channel. And I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I prefer quality versus quantity. So this is just for me, and, and I normally don't do this because I really don't like tooting my own horn, so to speak. So this is one, this is just proving who actually follows me and whose influence I have control of. So this was a video on YouTube about the mark of the beast. And of course, you know, that is my book. The title of my book is Mark of the Beast is already in, in your hand as it relates to the Bluetooth symbol. <clears throat> I made a comment here uh reaffirming that the mark of the beast is already in your hand it's the title of my book that proves it's already in people's hands it's the bluetooth symbol in the cell phones and of course that's my thumbnail that's my channel name <clears throat> my thumbnail we're going to look at who commented who followed suit in commenting on that they are germanic runes combined combined the Bluetooth symbol, but more importantly, who commented on that? Klaus Schwab. Now, if you don't know who that person is, 
this is a gentleman that follows me in everything that I do very closely. And that is why he commented on that. <clears throat> this gentleman, Robin, brings up in almost every show, pathetic, prophetic performance art show that he does. He always speaks on Klaus Schwab, and he talks about Klaus Schwab and one of Klaus Schwab's underlings, Noah Har Harari always talks about him believing and you'll never see klaus schwab comment on any of robin bullock's channels or shows or whatever he does because klaus schwab could care less about robin bullock but we're going to learn who klaus schwab is we'll find out who he is he is the chairperson of the world economic forum he is a German engineer, economist, and founder of the World Economic Forum. That is who Klaus Schwab is. And this just goes to show, this just goes to unequivocally prove that Robin Bullock is a fraud, he is a clown, and nobody cares who Robin Bullock is. But these important individuals all follow me very closely. Klaus Schwab, there it is. And realize he's speaking about my book and what I showed in my book and how it is Germ Germanic runes, what I discussed, and look at who what his background is. A German engineer, <clears throat> a economist, and he is the founder. He is the founder of the World Economic Forum. And I just wanted to point that out just to show you, prove to you quality versus quantity makes a difference, ladies and gentlemen, because that gives me say, persuasion and say over what happens. I have truly have the ear of people that matter. Y'all be sure to share this. God bless.